Welcome back to the Too Fast channel. This is part two of a three-part series covering the unboxing, test fitting, and testing of the Mantis Blackbeard Dry Fire Auto Reset Trigger System for your AR-15. Available from Mantis for $199. Link in the description. Uh, I've got my registered SBR out here on the table. I already have my bolt carrier group and charging handle removed and no magazine and the firearm obviously has already been cleared. So to install the Blackbeard um, you're going to uh, basically pop out your takedown pin. You don't need to completely disassemble um, your uh, rifle. Um, the hammer should be down and since this is a bolt carrier group charging handle combo, you just slide it in. It'll pop your dust cover open, drop it down, and reassemble your firearm. So now the first part of the Blackbeard system is installed. The second part is the insert their magazine after you've got it fully charged. When you insert the magazine and the contacts uh, are properly seated against the uh, Mantis bolt carrier group, uh, I'll just call it a bolt carrier group, uh, you'll hear the, um, the device do a reset, an electronic reset, almost sounds like uh, an airsoft um, gun. And if everything's working correctly, we should be able to Pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and you can see it's resetting. And you can, um, you should be able to see this. You can see the laser pulse every time I pull the trigger. And that's basically how it functions. So, um, less than a minute to install, and you're good to go. Um, I I really like the fact that this resets the trigger. Um, so your the the training that you're going to experience at home is is pretty much going to be on par with what you would experience in a class or at the range. Uh, obviously, without the noise, without the recoil, and so on, but um, you can practice all the all of your your different techniques uh, with this, and not have to um, you know pull back on the charging handle after every round. So this is absolutely great. Um, I I really like this setup. I, I think this is great for the money. I mean, with the amount uh, with the amount of money I spend on ammunition that I can save training at home, this is fabulous. So, um, yeah, there's not much else to talk about for the installation here. It's just uh, um, very simple, and we want to go and remove this. Let's pop our takedown pin. If I can get it out. Pull that out, and then use your magazine release. Now, the other thing that I like, this may not be applicable to uh, every AR application, but this actually fits tight in the magwell, and I've tested this on my SBR, and I've got another AR-15 rifle. Uh, different lower receiver and this fits tight in both of them. So if for some reason you hit the magazine release, this isn't going to drop out and slam on the floor and possibly bu uh, bust open. At least that's my initial impression here, that, that, that this is designed to fit tight on purpose just in case that does happen. This doesn't drop free. So uh, I really like the extra thought put in, in into that. 
So that's the, the removal. And of course, when you're done, you can put this back in the nice padded uh, zippered carry case and store it away till your next training session. All right, that's going to wrap up um, part two of the fitment of the Blackbeard Dry Fire Auto Reset Trigger System. Um, we'll progress on to part three, which will actually be testing this, uh, going through some of the drills uh, using the Mantis Laser Academy uh, kit and its targets.